Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile. And very late last week we got GGG coming at us with what they are working on currently. So first of all, all of the intended significant changes to the Dev League have now been deployed, which means that develop the development team is now focusing on the next content, which is update 3.5, which is expected to launch on the first week of December. This also means that around November 9th, which is a Friday, is when they're going to start leaking information about the new content and start to building the hype. Apparently, the content is slightly larger in size than Bestiary, Incursion or Delve. And considering how big these leaks were, well, we can expect some really great things. As usual, I should say, but really, just great things. Also, GGG will not be running a flashback event this time, mostly because the player retention during Delve has been excellent, and I guess that uh, not many care about the challenges, but the, the inf infinite nature of the mine uh, is actually something that really pushes people towards uh, achieving new goals, and uh, every time you can just get one floor more, and um, the progress is always right there, so you you are you feel like you want to play more, and that's working really well apparently. So Delve is definitely going to remain in the game, in one way or another. We'll see how they manage to balance it. They might actually remove it from Temple Leagues because it might take too much time out of people and uh, not enough time for the new leagues stuff. Although I feel like Standard definitely needs. Uh, delve to remain there because it's absolutely amazing also even though there's not going to be any flashback or something ggg said that they are working on something small that is separated to existing or future leagues and they might be able to talk about it soon really wondering what that is all about we'll see though also we got an interview with another streamer this time it's empyrean gaming and it's the usual thing, so pretty much if you follow the other uh, interviews, you will, should know how this goes on. If you're interested in Empyrean himself or the streaming thing, uh, definitely give it a read because, as usual, it's quite interesting. We also got 3.4.3f patch notes, which has some really small balancing changes, like re -enable the so it's not really balancing, but re-enable the source I found migratable button, unique drops, by the Delve bosses are now located to the map maker, which is about time, and another couple of those things. The rest is small bug fixes and the such. So this is the kind of patches, very small patches that we are going to get from now till the end of the league. Other than that, GGG is working on the new updates. But anyway, we also got some statistics of the Delve league, which I'm gonna go very quick about this. Uh, you can just see that Elementalist, Juggernaut and Pathfinder and also Ascendant are very very dominant in the four in the first four uh, classes. There is also the Necromancer in the hardcore because it's pretty damn tanky if you build it right, but these are pretty much the strongest classes overall. Even for the level 90s, that's the cultist coming up there. This is also because it's hardcore and beyond depth 300 so you definitely need some kind of defenses there the pathfinder is definitely really strong because with the new poison thing and the strength of the flasks uh, you can really create a character that's immune to physical and um, magical damage at the same time so as long as the monsters don't have penetration you're pretty much immune to damage at all which I find honestly retarded but I mean that's how GGG wants the game to be so that's how it actually is we also got the results from the craft competition and just seeing the top three they are amazing this one is a Brutus clock which is also animated it's Brutus slamming it's incredibly well done there's a very good figurine with a very good paint job as well and my favorite this incredible video here of um this it's it's a kind of book you know the one you open and there are figures that come uh, come out of the book and it's amazing it really warmed my heart in a certain way it felt great to watch to hear to listen 
So definitely a well-deserved win. There's also the top five winners and a lot of more top 10, top 20 runners up. So a lot of people actually want something and they're all uh, definitely worth it, worth to check it and worth the win. So congratulations to everyone. Hopefully GGG will make more of these challenges because definitely they bring the community together to create something awesome. And yeah, I guess that was all for this week. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all. I've been your host, Zorzo, and I'll see you guys the next time.